Massive thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay are your one-stop solution for all of your DIY project needs. They offer all kinds of different PCB printing options, including multi-layered PCBs and flexible ones. As well as that, they are now offering CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and even injection molding. Check out PCBWay using the link in the description. Hello, my name is Elliot. Welcome to my second channel. I'm gonna be making a video today on a couple of gaming handhelds. I bought these things from Japan, uh, but they're actually made in China, like most things in the world. So these things are uh, some handhelds, consoles, pocket game arcade, to be specific. And then this one is the clear colors pocket game computer. They both have 118 games, so fingers crossed they're not the same game. That'd be absolutely awful. Um, and I've seen these things littered all over Yahoo auctions, which is a, an auction service in Japan, basically the same as eBay, but for Japan. And I used Sendico, which is a proxy service, to buy these. I'll leave them in a link in the description below. Uh, but yeah, these are clearly sort of uh, made to look like other things. I mean, not so much this one. I don't know if this is made to look like anything. That's kind of like the Neo Geo logo. Uh, you can see there the Neo Geo logo. It looks quite a lot like that. Um, but this is made by Peanuts Club, unlike the Neo Geo, which is made by uh, Walnuts Club. Um, but yeah, you can see this one's very heavily inspired. Um, you've got the word colors up the side here with the black strip. And then you've got the sort of the angle and it's all in the angle. Uh, you know, that's a real copy there. And not to mention the fact that it also is purple and the screen is kind of blue. And then you've got a white background. I don't know, are they going for a, a yeah, they are, 100%. It's not even, not even a question about it. Uh, you flip it over on the back and it's just the yellow one. But this one inside, I believe, is actually the purple one. Uh, is that indicated, anyone? Yes, it is. It's indicated with this small little Sharpie splodge right here next to the purple. So pocket game computer, clear colors. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna open this one first, but I just thought I'd show you this as well, just to show how obviously copied this thing is. So I've got no idea what to expect out of these things. The only thing I can say is that this one has already peed me off big time uh, because it has to, you have to unscrew the battery cover, which I just despise. So so yeah, I'm, I'm off to a bad start on that one, but this one could could prove to be useful to someone. I mean, realistically, it's not gonna be massively entertaining. In fact, you know what? I'm I'm being a Debbie Downer. There's a good chance this thing isn't gonna be Never mind. there's a game called Baggage Claim. Uh, we've got Destroy Hubble. What, is in the telescope? Are we destroying the Hubble telescope? I hope not, we need that. We've got the Apache Overkill. We've got Rocket <laughs> Man. Yeah, we've, there's loads of different things here. We've got Apple's Jack as well. And we've got Greedy Jerry. Bloody Jerry, always so greedy. Um, here it is here. I mean, what happened uh, with the packaging on this one? Why did we need all this packaging? Because here's the Game Boy and uh, you can see, you know what, it's about it's about the same size actually. It's, it's very much the same size. And, and so what happened with the, the packaging here? It would have been far cooler to have had it be this size. So I have no idea what happened there. There's three triple A's to get this thing going, uh, unlike me, which requires a long, hard look in the mirror, followed by washing my face, followed by four coffees, followed by staring out of my window into the distance and questioning all of my life choices. I'm addicted to eating soap, followed by another coffee and then I get into it. Um, but yeah, I'm very, I'm very uh, underwhelmed immediately. Uh, it's incredibly cheap. It's kind of giving doorstop vibes. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, here, here's a game computer right here. Uh, the screen is absolutely tiny. It's a little bit bigger than my thumb, which is the technical specification uh, of this. In fact, no, never mind. It says 1.8. It's 1.8 somethings. Maybe we should find out what they are. It's a 1.8 inch color LCD monitor. So there we have it. That is the size of the screen. Right, let's set all of this stuff to the side and let's take a look at it. Okay, so let's take a little look around the device. So there is four action buttons, a D-pad, and to be honest with you, I felt much worse buttons. These genuinely don't feel too bad at all. We've got start and pause, and then we've got reset, and then we've got a sound button. There's nothing else elsewhere other than the power switch on the top. There's no headphone jack. There's a small little speaker here, and obviously we have the 1.8 inch monitor right there. So the only thing left to do is turn it on. Well, that music's gonna get incredibly annoying. Okay, so we've got 118 in one. Uh, the first game is Matchstick Man. Okay, here we go. It's actually a fighting game. 
Oh my days! You know what? This is actually good. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> this is just funny. No! No! No, he better not win. How's he doing all of those maneuvers? Also, why is the graphics actually- <gasps> I won! Why is the graphics actually kind of good? Like, their, their, their articulation, their movement is actually quite decent. Right, round two. Let's, let's give this guy one more little go. What is all of that? How is he doing all of that? No. How is he so good? He's, uh, he's really good. Right, reset, let's go, next one. Let's try kill zombies and see what this one's about. Oh, okay, so you've just gotta sort of like, shoot them as they're coming down and not let them get somewhere. Again, another very competent, decent game. Is this thing actually gonna be good? Is that what we're, is that what we're discovering here? An actual cheap bit of fun? You know what? I don't hate it at all. I don't hate it at all. Let's reset. Let's play a different one. Let's try racing car. Okay, so you have to hold the action button to move. Uh, what? What happened? The sound is abysmal. We. What is going on? Why? Why is it that I can't overtake him without exploding? Okay, you have to really, really sneak past them. The hitbox on this is not forgiving. I don't really know what's going on here. Uh, I just seem to be driving around dodging cars. Is there, is there actually an objective? Do you have to complete the race in a certain amount of time? Oh, I'm going even faster. Oh, game over. Damn it. Right, let's play uh, Rapid Reaction. Let's see what this one's about. I like that these games are pretty much original and also they're not repeating. These seem to all be actually original games. Why is it saying I've already lost? I don't understand. How do you play this game? Is it is it by color? Yes. Yes, it is, yes. No, it's not. What? I'm so confused. What is happening here? How do you play that? What? <laughs> Did anybody work out how to play that? Did anybody work out how to play that? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I, I'm sad. Okay, let's try the Peanuts Club Pocket Game Arcade. 118 games. This thing appears to be the exact same thing in a different form factor. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh, it's exactly the same. Oh wow, that, that joystick feels really, really good. Really good. Let's try Fruit Nights. Oh, so this is basically Fruit Ninja, except you're a little person that, that runs around, unlike, unlike Fruit Ninja where you swipe. This is really, really good. I like this a lot. Yeah, I'll be completely honest with you. This has actually surprised me. Right, let's play Save Bears. Here we go. Save Bears. Oh. So you've got to help them jump across. That's kind of cute, otherwise they just burn. That's sad. This is kind of cute, I like this game. You just have to help them across. <laughs> Why are these games actually all kind of no- Oh no, I killed all the bears. Why is this actually so much fun? Like these games are just so wholesome. I mean, I don't like the fact that the bears literally go up in flames as they fall through the holes, but yeah, this is- Oh no, this is a really nice little thing. Okay, well, that concludes that. These things are actually really decent. Very much like them a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're probably gonna end up going to a car boot sale, but I really like them. <laughs> they're actually very, very sweet. And uh, yeah, I'm never gonna be able to find a link for these things because I bought them on an auction site, but if I, if I find an eBay link, I'll stick it down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.